Hi, welcome to Freezer Meals 101. I'm Sharla. And I'm Christy. And we are so excited about today's video. We've been planning this for a few weeks oh, now. Oh, quite a while, because I don't know if you've noticed, but at our house, groceries have gotten very expensive over the last, I don't know, couple of years. Yes. It's a little outrageous right now, isn't it? It is, we talk a lot about grocery prices, actually, and- We, we do, I mean, for the nature of our job, yeah. but also it's a topic, like- And freezer meals have saved us a ton of money over the years. We have a video right there, we're gonna put about ways you can save money by doing freezer cooking, mm -hmm. and some of our other um, grocery shopping, you know, ways to save money. But even with freezer meals, like, even though we spend less than the average family because of freezer meals, like it's going up. And so we kind of challenged ourselves to find some recipes that we could make for now. Before I say the price, I'm little, gonna tell little you- Little asterisk little here. Little caveat yeah. here is that we're in Canada. And so the grocery prices here are much higher than they are in the US. So if you're in the States, you can make these for a fraction of what we made them for. So just keep that in mind. So what we did is we did meals that you can make for under $9 for the full meal. So that's mm -hmm. like a dollar or two, actually one of them is less than a dollar per serving, but a dollar or two per serving for the rest of them. And so this is, you can feed a family for less than $9 a meal. Again, if you're in the US, you might be able to make these for seven or even $5 for the entire meal, mm -hmm. depending on what state you're in. And, so, and you're still gonna have to shop smart. You're still gonna need to catch sales. You're still gonna need to watch your flyers. You're still gonna need to, you know, shop, shop smart, but it, it is doable. And but, we are going to tell you with every recipe, how much exactly it is per serving, again, with Canadian prices. So know that you could probably get it for at, less. As of August, 2022. Yes, that could change, right? That could change. If you were watching this in like, December of 2025, you got to think about, you know, the time and, and what's going on right now. So what's going on in the world is gas prices are high, which makes our trucking costs high. In Canada, everything gets trucked in. We, we can't just buy bananas off the tree here. Oranges are hard to get in Canada. Like most of them come from the States. We have a few orchards in, um, in BC, but yeah, you know, so, so much of our stuff gets trucked in. Right? So there's an extra cost there. There's just a lot to factor into it. Everything costs a little bit more here. So regardless of when you're watching this video, these will still be frugal meals because they will, they will still be like the cheapest you can make a meal for. Mm -hmm. So our first recipe is um, a dark to pepper baked beans. Now I had to actually adapt our recipe a bit to make this frugal. Right because normally you're adding bacon to this and bacon is not, not, not inexpensive. No. no. <laughs> and so we are doing it today. Unless you met the pig. Yeah. You know, unless, unless you saw that pig every day <laughs> and you lived on the farm and you butchered the pig and you have the bacon, then you could probably yeah. make it work. But to buy bacon at a grocery store is, it's horrendously expensive. It's, it's getting up there. So we, today are using a bean that has molasses and pork in there. So we're, we're cheating a little, it's not really cheating, but there is including the pork yep. because it's in the can. And baked beans are pretty inexpensive, but I'll tell you what, we could have done this even, even cheaper. cheaper. Yeah, we really could have. Just like lentils, beans, are something that you can buy dried in a little bag. You could buy a bag of beans this big for a dollar, a dollar fifty. That would then you would then there's a way to cook beans. I've done it from scratch before, but it is a bit of a process and you have to soak and you have to cook for a long time. But you could do these for much cheaper because that bag of beans would probably be worth four or five cans of beans. Totally. Mm -hmm. So you could do this. Now we have worked it out and this is $3 and 40 cents for the entire meal. Mm -hmm. And how which, many does it feed? So it feeds four. So it's 85 cents a serving. 
So if you are on a very tight budget, Dr. Pepper baked beans, you're still going to have the flavor because mm -hmm. we've got some other ingredients in there. So it's not it's, just a can of beans. No. Like there's, I mean, we're going to, we're going to zip it up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> so you're still going to get some good flavor and 85 cents a serving. It's really hard to go wrong with that. And again, if you used the bag beans and, mm -hmm. and you know, rehydrated them, yeah. you could make it even, even less. And Again, if you're in the U.S. and prices are lower, which is, you know, awesome for you. <laughs> it is. We're a little jealous, but not totally. Yes, but it's still affecting you there. I know that grocery prices in the U.S. are a little outrageous there as well. And everything's relative. So, you know. Yeah. It's, um, it's hitting everybody a little bit harder right now. So stick with us and we will show you these videos. So you can find this recipe down below, or you can find it in the Freezer Meals 101 Club. And the awesome thing about that is that you get to create your own shopping list, meal plans, customize everything. You can change the amount of servings and you can really be, choose all the meals that you want mm -hmm. and make it so that you can make all your meals ahead so you're never having to go through the drive through you're never having to order pizza or get convenience foods, so you save a ton of money. And I don't know if this is your first time here, if it is, welcome, but Charlotte and I do mega meal sessions, and we just had one recently, and you can look at the video <laughs> for it there, where we, we did 100 plus meals, and that takes a lot of brain power, and it takes a lot of coordinating and effort and the grocery shop and all the prep, but we have a video of it and you can see how we do it. But the best part about the club is you can do so many of those meals and you really can do a mega session yourself without um, the brain power. Yeah. Yeah. You only have to apply, apply a fraction of the brain power <laughs> instead of using all of your brain and it's exhausting. So we do the hard work a little bit for you. So yeah, it'll help you out. And then you can go and like, shop from your freezer instead of having to do drive-through or you know pizza delivery so it saves lots of money lots of time and of course sanity save your sanity we're big fans of that we'd like to hang on to ours as best we can <laughs> so in the dark pepper baked beans we've got two cans of the beans and they've got the pork in there we have four cans here because we're making two batches just so you know then we're doing half of a medium, half a medium onion that's chopped, some brown sugar, and some Dr. Pepper. So we're gonna have lots of zing and zip, and it's gonna be delicious. that we noticed is that ground chicken is very reasonably priced. So we've, we have a recipe in the club that we, we've made quite oh, a lot. We love it. It's, it's so, so good. good. <laughs> and it's um, for Thai chili chicken lettuce wraps and the filling is, is amazing, but it's not that frugal because even though it's using ground chicken, it has cashews in it. And cashews are decidedly not, not frugal. Cheap. No, not frugal. <laughs> so we we were just talking about okay, but ground chicken is inexpensive. So let's try to find some more ground chicken recipes. So today we're doing two ground chicken recipes, and of course we're making two of each. So in the end today we're going to end up with ten meals total. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to do a ground chicken tacos, and so we've cooked the chicken up. We've got a little more than a pound. A pound in each. In each. Yep. And we're going to do just taco seasoning and a little dab of oil. That's it. That's it. And then you're going to have your taco meat. Now, when you go to make this, yes, you'll have to either create a taco salad or a taco, so you will have to buy other things. However, your protein for this will end up being $5 and 52 cents, again, Canadian, but um, which is $1.38 per serving to feed four people. So that's a really reasonable deal. 
once you add the other things in there, you might end up with a $10 meal, but... But that's $10 for everybody. And this yeah. will serve four or six people. Like, a pound of taco meat goes a long way. Totally. And you can have leftovers on nachos. You can you can do lots of things with taco yeah, meat, Yeah, if right? you do end up with leftovers, just throw it in a bag and you can have it on your on You can your have hash. it in, in eggs. Oh, yeah. Lots of times I put it in eggs and a burrito. Hash brown skillet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, the next one is a barbecue chicken sloppy joes. Mm -hmm. This sounds pretty darn awesome. This one works out to, drum roll, $7.33, but it's six servings. So you're looking at $1.22 per person, which is really awesome. Really awesome. You so, can't even get a McDonald's value meal for $1.22 anymore. No. And no. This is healthier. So we're going to serve this on buns. So again, the cost of the buns is going to add a little bit, but you might have like, you know, like a dollar or two. Invite a friend over and say, I'll make, I'll do I'll the, make the sloppy, sloppy joes. joes. You bring the buns. <laughs> and yeah, then you don't have to spend on the buns. That's so right. this is like almost the full meal for that cost. And again, feeding six people. So this is a really reasonable one. But in this, we've got our ground chicken already cooked. Mm -hmm. Um, some onion, so three quarters of a cup diced onion. Then we've got green pepper that has been chopped, three quarters of a cup barbecue sauce, and half a cup of tomato sauce. So you got some really good flavor in there, and sloppy joes are nice and kid friendly too. Absolutely. We did the ground chicken recipes back to back mm -hmm. and next we're gonna do the ground beef, recipes. ground beef recipes because we always do light proteins together it saves time and makes it so you don't have cross-contamination especially if you're working with raw meat which we're not today we're not today but oh, I do want to mention one of the things that we looked at doing was drumsticks and we didn't end up doing them. I could have made it work. I could have made it be around the $9 range for the drumsticks. Uh, once you start adding like the sauces and things sure. like that, it gets a little bit pricier, but it was something that we talked about doing when we, we looked at, and it was, it was kind of just on the cusp. So that might be something that we do in a future video on frugal recipes. But that's something that we're going to be keeping an eye out for them going on sale because they weren't on sale at all. So I know could have made it work if they had been. And something else to consider, we often will buy boneless, skinless chicken breast. And if you buy it bone in, skin on, it is really a lot cheaper. If you buy an actual whole chicken and you part it out yourself, it is a lot cheaper. We are very privileged to be in a place where we can walk into a grocery store and buy as much boneless, skinless chicken thighs or chicken breasts as we want. Um, and if you need to make this work with, with little fryers that are whole chickens, go ahead and do it. All of these, maybe not the ground beef ones or the ground chicken ones today aren't that adaptable, but most of our freezer meals really could are be very done that adaptable. Way. And yeah, you're paying for convenience. What's funny is we will, we don't show this in our videos, but we still prep those. Yeah. We, we get them and they're doing it on a mass scale. And so they aren't always as careful as you want to be. So you find gristle or you find a little bone or you find a kneecap. <laughs> <laughs> you find it in there and it's, it happens and it's okay. But we, um, if you're going to do that much work anyway, if you don't mind, the, the having the skin and the bones in there, it's gonna be much cheaper. So watch out for that too. Just because we do it one way doesn't mean that you have to. Totally. So these, um, the tater tot casserole, mm. 
it's good. It's, it's a it's like an all-in-one meal, and I really wanted to give you some meals here where you don't have to add any sides, where you don't have to add any cost. But the tater tot casserole worked out to be just a little bit more than what I wanted to spend per meal. And then I looked at it and realized that it's eight servings. Mm. So what we're doing is we're just putting it into two bags. We're just splitting it because then it's four servings per bag, but you've got everything in there. You've got your tater tots, your ground beef, your vegetables even, and your sauce. So everything that you need for the full meal is there. And it works out to be $8.50, again, in Canada. In the US, I know you can do it for less. So that's $2.13 a serving, but you're not adding anything. So that's right. your full meal. Mm -hmm. So that's great. And then the hamburger macaroni skillet is another one where everything is there except, so not a lot of veggies. So you might wanna add a veggie. That one works out to $8.61 which is $2.15 a serving. Tater tot casserole is your bag of frozen tater tots. So we're splitting that into two bags. You've got your lean ground beef. I'm gonna put the recipe, the full recipe down below in the description, but you've got onion, frozen mix, mixed vegetables, uh, mushroom soup, evaporated milk, garlic, mustard powder, salt and pepper, and then you can top it with some cheese on the date you serve it if you want to. already so it's two cups per meal a pound and of do you know what? macaroni is always cheap yes it is <laughs> macaroni yes, is always is. cheap you can always make something with macaroni and make it into something delicious absolutely yeah so we've already cooked up our ground beef for both of these recipes but so you've got a pound of your ground beef and a pound of ground beef is two and two-thirds cups so when you're measuring it out mm -hmm. that's an easy way uh, onion seasoning salt, red pepper flakes, a can of diced tomatoes, Worcestershire sauce, <laughs> ketchup, I don't know if I said that right, but ketchup, parsley, salt, and pepper. Now, when I was making this recipe, pricing everything out, I thought, you know, green pepper would taste really good in here. But if I added the green pepper, honestly, this would be up over nine dollars and i made a commitment that these are, meals were all going to be less than nine dollars each so we're making this without green pepper but if you've got that extra dollar to spend then grab a Go green ahead pepper and put, it in. put about half in each one we're making two of each so um and you know go ahead then you've got your veggies in there and it's a little bit more of a rounded meal but i was committed that i was not doing <laughs> not doing anything for more than nine dollars and so no green pepper no green pepper so in the one today you are not going to see green pepper no. <laughs> anyway that that's it that's we we made 10 meals and uh the cost of those meals in canada with high grocery prices was 66 dollars and 72 cents so you know, six seventy ish per meal. Mm -hmm. That's to feed an entire family, not per serving. And so I think we did really well with the frugal freezing meals. I think we did really well with the frugal freezing meals. They're still going to taste great. There are still things that you would, might want to do to tweak them, but who can say they can feed their family for under $7 a meal? Yeah, I think this is- Especially in this day and age. So it is still possible. You gotta get creative. You gotta really want it, or you really need to, and you can do it. So let us know how these work for you. We would love to hear from you. Uh, we're gonna put a video right over there, 
that is some more tips for saving money when you're doing freezer cooking. So we hope that you'll check that out because then you can take advantage of all the sales and you can find the hidden sales. We've got some tips for that mm -hmm. in there. And thank you for joining us today. Make sure that you hit subscribe and you like it and join us in our membership club. We would love to see you over there. Happy cooking. Worcestershire. Ha, ha, ha.